Rowdy Beck, when are we going to see some gloves on you? Hopefully soon. You know, uh, since I've been stuck here with COVID and all that, I was actually looking at getting a boxing fight. Um, there is like a few people I would like to fight. I've just got to find, you know, like the right opportunity to get, you know, lock, get it locked in and um, put the gloves on. But you know, I'd love to fight Lauren Eagle. I've always, <laughs> I've always been watching her closely. So I think that would be a really big fight. I think um, a lot of eyeballs would be on us. Um, and I'd like to retire her. Really, she's she's about to, she's about ready done. She was um, missed out on that world title shot because of COVID and that. So I think you know, I think it'll be a good fight, you know, end career, career ending fight for her. So um, that's kind of what I was eyeing off. If I could get it, you know, matched up, that'd be awesome. But um, I just need a fight. It's been a year since I've had a fight. So <laughs> especially watching Adrian fight tonight. Um, yeah, I'm ready to get back in there. Um, good to see that you, you start off, you want to start off slow with the career. <laughs> oh my God, get the gloves on, you call out Lauren Eagle straight away. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm the world champion in bare knuckle boxing. Um, I've fought all over the world with the UFC Bellator, so um, I'm no slouch. You know, I've got a lot of experience. I know it's not in boxing, but uh, I, I think it would be a shame to fight, match me against, you know, some novice. I don't think, um, I, I don't think I could even, you know, do that with my own kind of um, principles and morals. So I definitely like, you know, a season fighter and, and go out there and have a really big fight and make it worth something. Is there anything on the cards for you to get the bare knuckles back out and move overseas and, and get another scrap? Because we love watching you <laughs> in those. I love bare knuckle. Um, well, I'm exclusive to Bellator, but they have actually given me um, a pass to have one fight with bare knuckles. So I've been eyeing off Paige Van Zandt. Um, we've all obviously got, you know, bad blood. She's already um, got the, the win over me in UFC. Um, but, you know, I think I'm a better boxer and she can't kick me in the head in bare knuckles. So <laughs> um, that's definitely a fight I'm, I'm eyeing off. So hopefully I can get that by the end of the year. Good time for you to be taking it on too. She's had a couple of losses. It's not a bad time to attack her. Is that is that the reason behind it as well? Now's a great time? Um, no, look, she, she had a really good fight actually, her last fight. Um, she actually impressed me. I didn't think she had tidy boxing and she actually looked like the boxer out there um, compared to Britain Hart but I fought Britain Hart she's awkward she moves weird she throws weird punches and she was more uh, active and that's where Paige kind of still had that MMA mentality where you can you know, throw one or two and get away with winning a fight boxing you got to be more active and I think that's where she lost it on the scorecards so um, she actually looked pretty good so she's got a fight I'm pretty sure she's fighting very soon and um, hopefully she gets the win there and then we can you know back it up and get our rematch now, coming back to boxing, if we could get a promoter out there to get you get you under the lights and in the square ring, uh, what weight would you want to campaign at? Um, well, I fight at 56.8, whatever that is. What's that featherweight in boxing? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm a flyweight in MMA, so um, yeah, but around that weight. Look, I walk around 63 kilos. Um, I can make 57. Uh, 56, that's the lightest I can go. So anywhere between there, I'm, I'm easy. Stretching you out, trying to get you any further than that? lower mm. oh I used to fight at 52 for um, for the UFC and I just it just killed me so probably not like the lowest I probably could get to would be 55 I'm not sure what weight division that is in boxing but yeah I, you know I don't want to be bigger I want to be better so I'd rather just fight around you know my natural weight don't like cutting that much weight it's not good for you <laughs> mate it's not good for you <laughs> Give, all due respect, like he came off, you know, a year, he broke his hand, he just got fat, COVID, so he was just, I call him my fat boy, so <laughs> he did really well, but, you know, he doesn't normally get that far out of shape, so, but he, he did well to bring it all, um, get his weight down and put it all out there on, in the ring, so I'm very proud of him. Exciting to watch him fight and exciting to see his career kick back off again? Yes, look, I, I always think he's happier when he's got a fight booked in and he's got something to focus on, so it's, it's good to see him, you know, chase his dreams and do well at it, so it's good. Oh, loving thoughts there for the fat boy. <laughs> I love my fat boy. <laughs> Get out of here and have a great weekend. Thank you.